Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 42. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to identify the DB2 client release and fix pack versions from the server side. This slide talks about the problem scenario. So the problem scenario is we have a DB2 server. Let's say we have a version 10.5 fix pack one installed in it. Now various DB2 clients can connect to the database server. Uh, like it can be an application server like WebSphere or WebLogic or it can be ETL server or tools like Informatica or Data Stage, or it can be a, even a simple JDBC or CLI ODBC based application. Now all these various uh, DB2 clients like they connect to the DB2 server but they, they can connect using different release versions right so like a 9.7 DB2 client can still connect to 10.5 DB2 server. So what happens in real time is like the db2 dbs do not own the db2 client environments all the time right uh, it depends on the project like it varies from project to project like certain certain people have like dedicated web sphere admins and informatica admins or uh, application developers we don't have any control over it like what kind of drivers they use or something like that right so it becomes necessary from the db2 side like from the dba side we want to have some kind of mechanism wherein we identify or monitor the db2 client version or fix pack from the server side at the connection level especially after like moving from say from 10.1 we have upgraded the server to 10.5 and we want to provide a homogeneous environment then we have to intimate all the uh, application server team or the etl team or the application developers to do the upgrade as well okay uh, so even after communicating that, so we want to have some kind of a process wherein we want to identify or monitor for at least one or two weeks like that, right? So just to make sure that uh, all the clients are upgraded. So for that, uh, that, that is the solution that we are talking about, how to monitor that, right? So the solution is you can get a very simple uh, application snapshot. You can issue the get snapshot command for applications or you can use the monitor mon underscore get underscore connection monitor routine. So the snapshot output contains a lot of valuable information like valuable DB2 client related information like client IP address, client host name, client platform, like whether it's a Windows based machine or a Linux based machine or AX machine which is connecting and client user ID, client application name, a lot of uh, uh, information is available. The one that we are looking at is client underscore PRD ID. So client product identifier. So that will tell us the product release and the fix pack version that the client is using to connect to the server. So it might be like 9.7 or 10.5 like that. So from that we can easily find out. So it is just a simple snapshot mongate connection, but mongate connection will be like a point in time of point in time, right? So it's a snapshot monitor, right? So if you want to monitor and create a history, like you want to monitor for one or two weeks like that, right? So you can even create an event monitor for connections. It will create its own uh, tables and everything. So uh, it will be the, the information will be saved in those uh, event monitor tables or it can be a file monitor also. So it, it's depend on the type of event monitor you do. So let's just quickly look into the examples. Okay. So here I have a DB2 INST1. I have started the instance and you can look at the DB2 level. So this is on the server side what is the db2 level so it says db2 version 10.5 fix pack 1 right so now the thing is this is that prd id that i'm talking about see here the every every release right will have uh, one product identifier so you can see that sql 10 10 so major version is 10 zero 05 is the 10.5 right minor version and uh, fix pack 1 Right, the last digit is one, which means it is fixed back one. Okay, so this is the one that uh, product identifier that we are talking about, but this is on the server instance, right? Now, let's say if I uh, connect to the test database, okay, so I have connected to the test. This is a local connection, right? So, local connection will all obviously use all the uh, uh, same client, li uh, same libraries, right? So, it should be of the version 10.5, so it should contain the uh, identifier uh, product identifier 10051 like that okay now i have another uh, virtual machine okay so in this virtual machine this is like a separate machine like a you can treat it like a remote machine so i am logging in with user id rt client so i'm using runtime client in this particular environment okay hmm. so here i have installed the db2 client so here you can see i uh, show you the db2 level information here DB2 L E E L. Okay, 
so you can see that see here it is db2 version 10.1.0.3 you can look at the identifier sql 10013 so which means 10.1 version fix pack 3 so this this client is like that okay so from here also i can connect to the database so db2 connect to test user db2 inst2 using db2 inst2 okay so like that i so now there are two connection one is a uh, a local connection and another one is a remote connection now both of them uh, so see here now the connect connected so now what i'll do is i'll go to the server and i'll issue this mon get connection uh, routine okay so that should tell me like that should display me both the connections and the details like as i was talking about right so you can see here there are two connections one is with auth id inst2 it is from the machine ubuntu hyphen vm and it has given the client IP address and look at the client PRD ID and the platform. See, this is very important. So SQL 1013. So there is this particular connection <coughs> under this user ID from this machine, from this IP address is using a uh, lower version of the DB2 client, right? So SQL 1013, which means they are using 10.1 fix pack 3 to client uh, DB2 client to connect to this server. Whereas this is a local connection. So hence the client IP address is not there. <coughs> but you can see that the client PRD ID is still there. So th it is a, uh, uh, it, it is on par with our uh, uh, 10.5 level, right? So this is a local connection. So so this is the thing. So one one thing is here, we, I'm using point in time view. So if you want like to monitor, you can always create one event monitor like this. Create event monitor, con evmon for connections right to table. And it will create its own table and everything and it will store there. So I, I'm just flushing the event monitor and I am uh, displaying the data again uh, using the event monitor tables. Okay, So it's a table based event monitor. So I'm just displaying that. Okay, So you can see that, see here, here also now the two connections are shown 19 and 8 and look at it is showing the Ubuntu VM, the client product ID. So both the event monitor and point in time view both should be uh, giving us the same information. Uh, it's just a flexibility if you want to monitor for one or two weeks all the connections right so you can just create make this uh, create this event monitor monitor all the connections so after two weeks you can just uh, you know uh, drop the event monitor like uh, it's established that you know uh, yeah every connection is using the uh, appropriate release levels right so every client is upgraded so like that so that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel DB2 LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye.